Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy and today we're doing an unboxing and overview of this guy right here. The MSI Ventus RTX 2060. So super quickly guys before we jump into it, uh, if you follow me on Twitter you will already know but for those of you that don't follow me on Twitter, uh, unfortunately I've been having a few health problems lately uh, to do with my heart. So about if it, two, three weeks ago, I started getting a lot of chest pain, a lot of heart palpitations, things like that. And uh, so I thought it might go away by itself and it just hasn't. And so I got it all checked out at the hospital the other day and I have a heart murmur and uh, they're worried I might have something worse so I don't want to uh, seem like I'm complaining or whinging or anything like that. Um, there were, I was a bit concerned about how much information I would release surrounding it but I just wanted to let you guys know that I've been going through that uh, more recently. I thank you guys for all the support uh, especially on Twitter that's been absolutely great and it shouldn't change how much content I make the content should remain the same so I'm still going to be pumping out videos like normal uh, I just thought I'd let you guys know that and also that uh, I was dismissed from my job so I'll also be trying to sort that out finding new employment here in Taipei now on with the video and if you guys want to support me uh, you can just join my channel memberships because uh, that allows me to do things like buy more graphics cards because video <laughs> yeah I haven't had an email from them for quite a while so I went out and bought this guy by myself and if you uh, help support me then it means I can buy even more graphics cards so yeah I picked this guy up the other day MSI Ventus so I asked you guys on my community page uh, which uh, 2060 model I should pick up I had quite a few people telling me different ones now the main two I went out there looking for was one of the Zotac cards or this MSI card so a few guys had been asking me to check those out. I did look around for the Zotac and I just couldn't find it. Uh, so oh, there was one place that had it, um, but uh, the pricing wasn't really where I wanted it to be. And uh, there were plenty of these MSI Ventus cards. So this is the one I decided to go for. So let's open it up and see what it comes with. I'll show you what the back looks like. So just like with many of the other uh, RTX cards so far, that I've checked out. These, this Ventus is one of the more entry level ones. And that's what I would say a majority of you guys should be aiming for because of the price increase with these RTX cards. So these Ventus ones, you should be able to pick up for 200, uh, 350, I should say, well, I'm thinking back to the 1060 days, uh, 350 US dollars. So this is one that uh, is at Nvidia's uh, recommended retail price. Take up the top here, we see MSI. Have a look, see what this comes with. Open it up. And this just comes with a, a quick user guide and a driver CD. Just go onto NVIDIA's website, download GeForce Experience, uh, and then you'll get the latest drivers through that. Thank you for this MSI product. And then we have the GPU itself. Not much else that comes with it. But that's not surprising given that this is a more entry level uh, graphics card. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys like that. Alright, let's get this guy out. Okay, so first impressions. Having a look at this guy. So it is a bit on the smaller side, but of course it's a 2060. Um, these things don't run as hot as their bigger brothers, so you don't need to go as uh, beefy with the coolers. So let's talk about the uh, GPU itself that comes with this guy. So you're getting the 12 nanometer TU106 Turing GPU with 1920 CUDA cores and 30 ray tracing cores. Now speed wise, the reference RTX 2060 comes with a reference boost speed of 1680 megahertz. This guy's coming in at 1710. So it does have OC in its name, I guess technically that's true, but it's just a 30 megahertz uh, boost up there. And of course, it'll go much higher than that when you actually have it into have it in your rig uh, because of GPU boost. It'll actually go up quite a bit higher, but I'll talk about that more when I do the showdown video. Now, as far as uh, the memory goes with this guy, so it's a bit different to its older brothers. 
So you're getting 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory on a 192 bit bus at 14 gigabits per second. So as far as the memory type, that's the same as the 2070 and 2080 GDDR6. Memory speed is also the same, but it's trimmed down. You don't get 8, you get 6, and it's on that 192 bit bus as opposed to the 256 bit bus. Now TDP wise it's coming with a 160 watt TDP that's a bit lower than what you get with the 2070 which is at 175 and the 2080 which is at 215. So you can see in a lot of ways the 2060 has quite a few similarities to the 2070. There's not, I would say so far a lot of people have noted this, there's not as much difference between the 2060 and 2070 as say was between the 1060 and the 1070. Now let's go over the cooler then. So this is looking pretty decent. It's a decent sized heat sink on it. Uh, I've got to say, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So this guy's coming with, uh, yeah, a nice heat sink, four six millimeter heat pipes, copper heat pipes and a copper base plate. That's always good to have. Twin Torx 2.0 fans, which MSI have been using for years now. And these are actually really good fans. It's coming with premium thermal paste, which I guess is better than bad thermal paste. But uh, yeah, we'll get to the thermals when we do the showdown video. It has a nice back plate, which considering the uh, 2060s have gone up in price, you know, by $100 compared to what the 1060 was, you'd imagine all of them now should be coming with back plates. Uh, this one, this is just plastic, by the way. I'm just noticing that. So it does have, you on the camera, you will think it's metal because it has that brush look. I can assure you, this is plastic. Yeah, it's bendy. I'll, tr I'll try show it on the camera for you guys because it can be a little bit hard to see, but uh, you should be able to hear. That's plastic. That's not a metal backplate. Now, now overall, the cooler, yeah, I think it looks decent. Uh, this is quite neutral, so you could put this in any rig. Remember, this is what, it, we always hold the gross cars up like this, but when they're actually in your rig, unless you have a, a vertical mount, you're gonna be seeing it most likely something like this. So this is how it's gonna look to you. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be quite uh, neutral, and I think this will go with pretty much any themed rig you have. Now, as far as power and IO goes, up the top there, single eight pin power connector. That's pretty good, and when we go around to the IO, we're seeing a triple display port, that'll be a display port 1.4, and a single HDMI port that'll be HDMI 2.0B. So yeah, this is looking like a good little uh, RTX 2060. And I'll be very interested to see how it does in the showdown. So I'm going to be putting this guy up against the Azeroth uh, Phantom Gaming RX 590 in a showdown. I think this one will be quite interesting. Uh, obviously the 2060 will have the advantage over the 590. But at the same time, the 590 is quite a bit cheaper. Uh, especially in the US compared to even entry-level models of the 2060 like this guy that comes in at that $350 price tag. So you're going to see which one is actually better value for money and that'll be very interesting. So if you want to catch that video as soon as it drops, please hit the subscribe button. As I said earlier, if you want to support me, uh, then you can join my channel. The only thing I have, I don't have a Patreon or anything else anymore. You can join my channel as a paid member and that allows me to go out and uh, buy more graphics cards so I can make more showdowns, I compare more of them together because as of right now I pretty much have to do it all with my own money which is fine and uh, thank you guys for all the support and everything else. It, it does mean a lot to me. Some people have said to me it's quite unfair but I mean life isn't fair and it's not like I brought this upon myself. Uh, I have a pretty decent diet and I try to exercise uh, regularly so I'm not sure where this has come from. Um, I, that will be hopefully discovered soon with uh, additional tests that I have to go for. Uh, so hopefully everything works out for the best. And I thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you all next time.